Gemini. You and the person coming towards you both need to go in and work on yourselves, but once you do, my oh my. Well, let's get into these cards and tell the story right here on Mojo Tarot. Hi everybody, how are you doing? This is JoJo, welcome to my channel. Hi everyone, hi and stuff, it's good to see you, you, it's good to see you. Uh, let's see, I am so thankful and honored for all of you being here. And if you will, please hit that little like button. That's right, like button, subscribe, share, comment. I do read all your comments and respond to them and really enjoy your stories. Thank you all so much for the support. The response has been overwhelming, and I am truly blessed and grateful for each and every one of you. All of that really does help out my channel. Uh, please make sure that you're doing that, liking, sh subscribing, sharing, blah, 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 all the things. For other readers as well and other content providers, it does help out their channel. You will be so greatly appreciated for it, and we love you. That's right, JoJo loves you. <sighs> Welcome. Anywho, this is a general read for the sign of Gemini. That's right, Gemini. Love me some Geminis. I myself am a Gemini son. So I highly identify with the Geminis of the world, the twins, the beautiful, shiny, polished gems. Man, Geminis are some powerful folks, and there are some powerful energies in the world right now that are doing good, good things for uh, Gemini. Now, Mercury retrograde, not so much, but yeah, there's like seven planets retrograde, and I'm, I mean, I... I'm surprised any of us can even function right now. I mean, I, I'm having a hard time getting my words out. I'm having a hard time getting things done. Uh, there's gravity issues that I've had here. My cat has been helping me all day. It's just been a smorgasbord of veritable technical difficulties. You know what I mean? Everything. Anywho. All right. So this is who is coming towards Gemini you know, romantically, in love, all that neat stuff. And I'm doing this read right on the full blue moon. So, you know, get ready for your, you set your affirmations, you know, get your, get your water ready for moon water if you do that, or um, get ready to release what you need to release, set your intentions, you know, all the things I'm just amazed. Astrologically, it's just an amazing time. There's all kinds of neat things happening. So with retrograde going, who knows how things are going to go. I'm just going to hang on, and whatever the universe has got for me is what it's got. Love you, universe. Thank you, divine. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, big guy. Appreciate it. Want to give you a big old hug. Yes, I do. Um, okay, again, this is a general read for the sign of Gemini. Please remember that in a general read, roles can be reversed. There is no gender in tarot. This read is timeless, and so it's for right around the week, whenever you happen to find it. And, uh, and there's my phone going off. See? Retrograde. You know, I turned this off. Retrograde. Okay, where was I? Gemini. Yes, roles can be reversed. There's no gender in tarot. The read is timeless, so whenever you find it, it's probably a message in here for you. It is for Gemini in all placements, no matter where they are in your chart. So again, only take what resonates. Leave the rest. All the things it can be reversed. No gender. It's, it's, it's just a madhouse. All right, who is coming towards my Geminis? Who is coming towards my Geminis in love and romance? What have you got coming for you, Gem Gems? What is happening for my Gems? 
Who is coming towards my Geminis? Who's coming towards my Geminis? There we go. We got some screaming already. The lovers. There you are. High Priestess, card of uh, Pisces, although I see it as Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, all water signs, really. Uh, underneath the bottom of the deck, well, let's see, you got the Lovers, High Priestess, Four of Swords, and then you've got the Eight of Pentacles. Gemini. Well, the Lovers card. This is the card of Gemini. And with the high priestess here, I get the feeling that the person you've got coming towards you definitely has you on their mind. Um, this is a person that's not really talking about it. They have gone within on a knowledge-seeking journey to commune with their higher power. They've done some deep thought about this and tried to find some answers about the situation with their higher self or the above, the divine, the universe, Jesus, Allah, Buddha, Krishna, um, whoever, whatever they subscribe to. Um, but they are, they're not really talking that much. They're not really talking that much at all. And this person has been healing. This person has been uh, going on a spa day. Now, this person, this person's been taking a nap. They, you know, the Four of Swords is about someone who has retreated because the Four comes right after the Three of Swords. And this is where someone is really depressed. They've, they've really hurt. They've really decided to Basically, they've just taken their football and they're going home. You know what I mean? They, they, they went home and they've had a long, long nap about it. They've been healing about something. It could have been about a situation with you since your card is here. Now, the lovers, back in the day, the lovers card used to be called the choice. But with this particular deck and the, the way that it's represented here, I get the feeling that this is a card of union that this, this person sees you as, well, A, the Gemini, but B, they, they, they want to touch your butt and stuff. They want to, they want to, they want to get all to some Gemini cheeks. They want twin cheeks. That's right. Yes, I did run with it. However, they are healing. And again, this is Pisces. It, it, for me, it's all water signs, but um, it is it is a card of Pisces. This person is not talking about this. You know, the the high priestess keeps their secrets, and um, or or at least holds back. They don't. They're not freely giving the information um, as a person normally would. They've learned. They've gone. They've sought their the wisdom of their higher self, the wisdom of uh, the 5D. Again, the universe, spirit, God, Jesus, Buddha, Allah, all of them. And they've done their healing from something. Uh, at least they've had to heal. This person's working on it. They've been working on it. Uh, they've probably been working on themselves. Probably what the... Four of Swords and the High Priestess is about. They've been connecting with their higher self. They've been doing the work. Um, in this case scenario, I would say that this is more like shadow work. This person's been doing their shadow work. They've been going to therapy. They've been journaling. They've been getting their rest. They've been building up their strength. They've been taking care of themselves. And seeing this, that's how you would know who this person is. So, uh, well, that's who's coming towards you. Now, we're, we're going to go a little deeper on that. How will you know who this person is? When they come forward and when they come towards you, how would my gems know who this person is? How will Jim and I know who this person is? 
I will Gemini know who this person is? I have a just blazing out. Ten of Pentacles. The Knight of Swords. The Nine of Pentacles. And underneath the bottom of the deck, the Hierophant. Wow. So now we have the Lovers and a true divine pair on the table. The, wow. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff just falling down around here. My cat's knocking things over. The phone's going off when it's supposed to be off. Retrograde. You know, it makes me, it almost makes me want to embrace my shadow side, you know, go evil with it. Start saying evil, devilish things and start twizzling my hands around like I'm, you, <laughs> getting ready for Halloween and whatnot, you know? But we're not even in September yet, so just slow your roll there, Burton fans. Just just call it down. We'll, we'll get there. Halloween is coming. Uh, how you would know who this is? Ten of Pentacles. This is somebody who's stable, who has got their bank together. I mean, this is this is big money. This is money, money. I'd say this is family, but then again, this is who's coming towards you in love and romance. So obviously, it's not going to be a family member. Um, it could be. It could be a wife, I guess. But still, this is this is somebody who's well off uh, financially. Knight of Swords. This person, uh, this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is somebody who's going to be taking swift action on whatever this is. You know, Nine of Swords is the fastest moving knight in the deck. And they, um, well, again, they're going to be moving quickly towards you. This person is single, abundant, beautiful, looking good, feeling good, smelling good, got all the things, got the... Got the little Gucci elephant purse down here. Got the got the slinging red dress. Got got a brand new set of spokes for their little wheel foot down there. <laughs> they they are you know uh, brand new to go to polish on their on their plague doctor mask. Uh, their little um, you know BSDM uh, playtime mask, whatever they got going on. But nine of Pentacles is someone that's put together. This is the pre-empress. Uh, man or woman, doesn't matter. No gender in tarot. This person has got it together. They are single. They are free. They are clear. Um, they are making good financial decisions. Again, looking good, feeling good, smelling good, all the things. And you're going to know because this person is going to take swift action. This person is apparently extremely well off. And with that high priestess up there, that's who this is. They must see you as the higher font. Now, this could be, again, the higher font and the high priestess are a divine couple. Uh, this is a very spiritual union. And this person could be very spiritual. The higher fun, if it describes them, again, this is somebody that's spiritual. This also talks about structures and, um, you know, government law. It could be an official of some kind. Somebody could be involved in law enforcement um, or, or the court proceedings or whatever. But this person, this person wants something serious with you. The lovers, the higher font. The high priestess, they they they're coming forward because they want they want everything with you, Gemini. They they see you as you you big time. You are your family to them, or at least they want to make you family. They want to make you hubby or wifey. This person, this person, they, they're coming to get you, Gemini. They're coming to get you. What do you want me to say? They 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 like you. They see you. You don't have any cups out here yet, but we do have that lover's card reigning supreme on this particular situation. So let's, uh, well, besides that lover's card, you that's how you'd know them. That's how you know who they are, and that's how you'll know when they, 
you know, start showing up and everything. Let's get into their feely feels. How does this person feel? Wow. Three cards flip right out. How does this person feel about my Gemini? Let's see what we have here. Oh, it's four cards too. Well, I'm going to take them. Five of Swords, the Star, Page of Swords, King of Swords, Gemini, Gemini, this person sees you as wish fulfillment, what do we got on the bottom of the deck, look, e there, man, bottom line, I'm dying, check it out, King of Swords, Queen of Swords, this person feels like you are indeed their divine counterpart. I mean, we already saw the high priestess and the, the higher font here. They see you, you know, in their fields is the, or how you know them is the 10 of pentacles, but they, there's already a divine pair on the board. Now we've got the star, wish fulfillment and healing, and you've got the king of swords, and the queen of swords, male or female, somebody sees you as their their thing. Now, the king and queen of swords are not always the most lovey-dovey and expressive, um, but they are both highly intelligent, and each one of them can be a little brash or harsh, but at the same time, they're not always that way. Both of them can be quite logical and reasonable and it is indeed a divine pair a divine couple and since you know the queen of swords is your card king of swords is usually aquarius but i see them both as general air sign cards libra gemini aquarius so this person is coming to match your they're coming to match your energy the Five of Swords here. The Five of Swords, the battle is over. This kid is sitting there moping. He's been through it. There's been a battle. And this is this is picking up everything. This is like, uh, I don't know, kind of moping after things. And so since this is how they really feel, obviously something has gone on. This could very well be someone in the past or from your past. If not... Uh, and it's someone brand new, then this person has been through something in the past, and they're just tired of it. The star. You're either their wish fulfillment, or they've been healing from something, and I get the feeling in this case, it's a little bit of both. The reason I say that, you, you must be wish fulfillment. For them to see, for them to feel the king of swords and queen of swords, they think you're divine. They do think you're a divine couple. And with this Page of Swords here, Page of Swords can be a card of spying. It can also be a card of just gathering information and learning. Um, it can also be a message. And the Page of Swords, if it brings messages, not always the happiest of messages. It can be a good message. It can be a bad message. But I get the feeling this, pe this person's been doing some checking up on you. And not really, not really anything bad. Maybe... You know, we consider, you know, the card of spying. Why talk when you can stalk? This person's probably been looking up your Facebook page, your Instagram, you know, your TikTok. They, they've, you know, you've been Googled. <laughs> yeah, 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 you've been Googled. Um, they, they've looked up your LinkedIn page. You know, they, they, they're just, they're trying to find all kinds of stuff out about you, but they're definitely coming for you. And apparently they, since this is in their feelings, I get the feeling that whatever the situation was, if it's a past person, they now want to heal it because they see you as wish fulfillment, especially with those two being there. And they've been researching on how to do it. Okay, Gemini. Wow. All right. Um, well, what are their intentions? I'm going to, um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and leave that sucker right there. We've already got extra cards. 
If the universe is going to toss extra ones out, so am I. Going for it. Going for it. All right, Gemini. What are their intentions moving forward? What are their next moves? We know how they feel. We know they want to heal things. Obviously, something's been up, and they feel like you're a divine couple. And we know from this lover's card earlier, they want to touch some Gemini booty. Yeah, baby. So, since they see you as a divine spiritual couple and the king and queen of swords, what are their next moves? What are, what are the next actions? What are their intentions? What do they want to do? Coming towards my gem gems. Eight of wands. The hermit. And the hierophant again. Seven of coins underneath the bottom of the deck. So, Gemini. This person obviously wants communication. This is communication, quick action. You see the bird there. Uh, yep, you're going to be getting messages. You're going to be getting DMs. You're going to be getting texts. Uh, you know, they, this person, your phone's going to be ringing. They're, they're, I'm telling you, this person is going to get in touch with you about this. They are coming forward. The Hermit, Carter Burgo. This person has, they're going to tell you about their hermit behavior. They have obviously been hiding, uh, healing from things, part of Aquarius. They've gone within. And we saw that earlier with the, it kind of reminds me of the high priestess and the star and the four swords. Uh, where, yeah, where is it? There you go. Four swords. This person has gone within. They have kind of hermited themselves away and been in seclusion. Uh, not really so much an introvert, but they, they've been in seclusion searching for their own happiness. You know, what's inside the lantern right there is the star. That star, their wish fulfillment, is inside that lantern. And... That's what they've been searching for. What is my true happiness? Well, apparently, their true happiness is you. They're going to be messaging you about it. See, there's another bird right there. Birds in tarot always mean messages to me. There's a bird. There's a bird. Everywhere's a bird bird. And if you notice on the higher font, there's leaves or something in the background, which also resemble birds. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully it picks it up a little. Might be leaves. But again, the higher font is these are structures. These are, um, this could be a judge. It could be a police officer. But this is something that's about rules. This person may have gone in and discovered their own idiosyncrasies, their own routines, their own personal doctrine, if you will. This higher font can refer to that as well. Now, higher font is also a card of Taurus. Um, and since we had the other higher font out here, could be is that this person has Taurus in their chart as well. Whoever this is, they are going to communicate. They have done their research, healed. They want, they see you as wish fulfillment. They see you as a divine couple. And here they come. Here they come. Communicate, tell you all about how they've gone within and they've looked for that star. They've looked for that wish fulfillment. And, yep, this can also be a card of marriage. That's an institution. Can be, uh, it can be a judge down at the courthouse who does marry people. You know what I mean? So, that's their intentions, their next moves. They are apparently coming forward. Now, with this seven of coins on the bottom of the deck, this person has gone back. I get the feeling that part of what they've gone in and searched and healed is they're looking at the way that they came at things before. Now, this could be with you. It could be somebody from your past. If it's somebody brand new, then they're looking at the situations that they have planted their seeds in before, and they would like to have a fruitful investment with you. 
So they've gone in and studied, okay, well, here's what I needed to change about myself. I need to change this and do this different and do this and add a little bit more fertilizer here. Make sure I water in this plant twice a day, not three times a day because that's too much water. Got to make sure the soil nice and soft. Got to have plenty of nitrogen. You, you know, got to have all the things. They're looking at how to change up their strategies with you in love, whether it was they had a past cycle with you and they want to change that energy to come back in a different, better energy, or they've just invested in things before that did not pay off. Ergo, they want to change the way they do things with you because they're coming forward. They definitely see you as a divine counterpart of some kind. I mean, underneath the underneath the seven of pentacles, the chariot. This is winning. This is motivation. This is movement. Heart of cancer. This, this person, they want to win with you. And they're looking at their strategies to figure out how to do it. Amazing, Gemini. Absolutely amazing. All right, let's go even further into it. What is the potential outcome of this situation from a Jim Gems? What is the outcome of this situation for my Gemini? Potential outcome, this person who's apparently got it heavy for Gemini. Thought one had flipped out there, but no, no. Oh, we got a couple flipping out. What have we got here? Wheel of Fortune, the lovers. Gimme. And the Two of Wands underneath the bottom of the deck, the moon. Well, Gemini, the outcome here, Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune spinning in your favor, baby. Look at there. The lovers again. The card of Gemini. There you are. Hot, sexy, steamy. You know you look good. You know they want to touch your butt. You know they do. Just give a little squeeze. This person's making the choice. They want that wand, Gemini. They've looked all around the world. They've looked at the other wands and they put this one to the side, put that one to the side, they put dropped all the other ones. They want your wand. Male or female, they've chosen. They want your wand. They want to bring the shadow to the light. They want to shine the light on all this emotion that they have for you. The moon can speak to things that are hidden, but it definitely speaks to bringing light to all the things that are hidden. And in this case, what it's bringing light to is that this person loves you, Gemini. This person has got a ton of emotion for you. I mean, this girl is drowning in water. She is covered in emotion. And underneath that, the fool. This person is definitely going to take a leap of faith in your direction. Wow. Wow. Wow, Gemini. All right. Well, let's get your advice. What is the advice for my Gemini in this situation? And after we pull the standard advice, I will get you an oracle card from the Enchanted Map Oracle. So what is the advice for my Geminis? Seven of Pentacles. The Hierophant. Oh, and the Eight of Wands in reverse. Well, it came out that way, so I'm going to leave it. Underneath the bottom of the deck, the Hermit again. Gemini, your advice is basically doing the same thing that this person is doing. Go within. See what your, you know, you search for your happiness in that light. You search for your wish fulfillment. You go within, connect with your higher source, just as the higher front does, and you figure out how to get to your star, you know, how to get to your happiness up there. Look at that guy. Look at dude. He's had, he's had some, 
he's had some sativa and he knows he's got chips sitting at the house and some pizza. He's happy. He's done his spiritual work. He knows how to get up all of these steps all the way up to his star. The star you've been searching for in the lantern is a hermit, Virgo energy. Again, we got Taurus energy here. Um, you need to look at how you have been investing into things in the past. If this is a past person, you two really screwed up with each other somewhere. And you both need to look at how you acted in that situation. But, and it's always good to review the past, but you don't have to dwell on it. You don't have to stay stuck there. The point is to look at your actions from before and think, okay, you know, have a discussion with yourself. Say, self, listen, this is what we did last time. And that didn't work so well. We planted all the seeds and we just got to one little bush. You know, all those seeds, just one little plant. This time, we need to, you know, we need to do something different. Different fertilizer, um, maybe a little bit more sunlight, water differently, all the things. Put in, you both need to come to the, whatever this is, you need to come at it in a different energy. For any kind of re reconciliation to work, both people, both people, both, each of you, that person and you, have to come to the relationship in a different higher vibrational energy or a different energy period than what you did before, lest you just repeat the cycle. This person has gone within and they are doing just that. They are looking at what seeds they planted, what they did. Oh, they, they're here. Seven of Pentacles. This them. This is in their intentions. This is in your advice. You know what I'm saying? Y'all you, got to come at things differently this time. And if you do, then you'll be able to find your happiness. You really will. Eight of Wands in reverse. Your advice is to hang back. Don't make any sudden actions right now. You know, Eight of Wands is a card of communication. It's a card of action. Um, this is only, this reads only for about a week or so. So we're not talking about a ton of time here. But for the time being, with this being in reverse, you just want to hold back your actions. You don't want to go too far. You need to, you need to rest. You need to go within. You need to study your, your, What's happened here? You need to be the higher font and make sure that you got your own structures and your own business down. And this person is doing the same, right? I mean, it's in their intentions over here. Higher font. It's in your advice. Higher font. It's it's very synchronistic. You two may have mirrored each other a little bit. Especially with, you know, most of the same cards coming out. But this person does see you as a divine counterpart, Gemini. They, they love you and they will come forward. You might need a little bit of divine timing, a little bit of patience before that wheel spins in your favor. I know Gemini's just absolutely loathe patience. Patience is not a Gemini's favorite thing. I get it. I understand it. I'm a Gemini myself. I want to push the button. Give me the prize. Push the button. Give me the prize. Push the button. Give me the prize. Just like a little space monkey they NASA sent up sometime in the 50s. Yes, I'm a space monkey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for recognizing my truth. I love you. Uh, hang tight, Gemini. Look at yourself, work on yourself, maybe go to therapy if you need to, do your shadow work, study what your actions were and how you can do things different because this person's doing the same. They love you. 
The wheel will spin in your favor. It will. So, with that being what you're both doing, let's get an enchanted map oracle card and see what the enchanted map has for you, for my beautiful Geminis in this situation. Now, I'm going a little over. People are going to say I'm biased towards Geminis. I am. I'm a Gemini. I'm interested in the Gemini story because I'm a Gemini son. Typically, I try to keep myself out of the reeds, but I'm a Gemini. I, I, what, what do you want me to say? Just cut me a little slack. Jesus, retrograde and stuff. All right. What do we have for my Geminis? Sacred pool. All right, kids. Here we go. Let's put this here so you can actually see the card. Sacred pool. Number 47. I'm going to read from the book. I just got this deck. It's one of my gifted decks from my wish list. Thank you, Miss Kimberly. God love you. Appreciate the donation. Let's go in and find out what we've got. For my Geminis. Number 47. Sacred Pool. The world is a reflection of your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. Embody the love you wish to see in the world. When you look into the mirror, do you like what you see? This card asks you to focus on self-love and self-esteem. Reflect by the sacred pool and be at peace with yourself. A detached self-examination made with rigorous honesty is called for now. Can you see how far you've come and how far and how magical your life is? Do you notice the spark of the divine shining through your eyes? When you're conscious that you're in the embodiment of spirit, it becomes easier to act in good conscience. Then you'll reap the greatest rewards. Your unique service to the world is not only needed, but celebrated. See the love within you, and know that if you can cast it upon the waters, it will return to you tenfold. Be at peace, for you are beautiful and loved. Act with surety and confidence, and success shall be yours, whatever your inquiry. Wow, wow, nice, Gemini. Just as I was saying, you two could be mirroring each other. It does mention the mirroring in here. Um, but you definitely have to go within. This is this is referring to the Seven of Pentacles. Looking at how you come at things before and how you can possibly do things differently. And that's exactly what the sacred pool refers to. You look into the sacred pool and you look at your reflection. Do you like what you see? And if you can look in there and understand your own divine light, your own divine power, and love yourself that way, the pool will reflect it to you. So you have to come at things with a different energy. This person has to come at things with a different energy. You both have to look at yourselves. And you have to come at this in a different way. Because you are a divine union. We had the cards say it. We had it in what's in their thoughts say it. And oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's not forget. We're, we we got the lovers out here twice. We got the star. A hermit. The, the wheel of fortune. This is divine, Gemini. It is divine. So... Wow, Gemini, that wheel is going to spin in your favor. For now, hold back, do work on yourself, love yourself, care for yourself, and really go within and see how you can change your vibration and your energy. Because when you do that, this wheel of fortune is going to spin in your favor. And this divine union will come together at that time. Amazing advice, Gemini. It really is. Really amazing advice. Well, it appears that's what I have for my Geminis today. 
so I am going to leave it there. Thank you all for being here, and thank you once again for all of your likes, shares, comments, subscribes. It really does help my channel gr to grow, and I am extremely, eternally grateful for all of you that do so. Uh, make sure you're doing it for other readers and other content providers. But go ahead, click that little button. It's right there. It's right down there. Just boop, boop, bing, like, bing, subscribe, bing, hit the bell. Love you. It's free. It's free for you. <sighs> but it really does help me provide this free content for you. And I do so greatly appreciate it. That's what I have for you today, Gemini. Take care of yourselves out there. I will see you on the next video. Bye for now. Love, love, love. Peace.